Welcome to a new video. This video will be about cable length and is it important? Does it matter if you get a really long cable like this or if you use a short cable like this one? Will it charge your phone twice as fast or will it take three times as long or well what's the difference? Doesn't say in the packaging. Manufacturers don't talk about it. And, well, let's put that to the test, shall we? Okay, so to start, this is an Anchor PowerPort 10. It's capable of delivering 60 watts of USB power, also known as 12 amps, at 5 volts, and it has 10 ports. Currently, there's three MyGeek cables connected. This is the 3 feet one, or 1 meter. As you can see, the voltage has dropped to 4.55 when running it at 2 amps. Okay, let's go back. This is the MyGeek 2 meter cable. And the voltage has dropped a little bit more to 4.32 volts. Still at 2 amps. Okay. And this is the third cable. You can see still 5.5. 16 volts going in This is a 10 feet cable or 3 meters and you can see the voltage drop just below 4 volts to 3.99 Okay, let's uh, look at that again So you can see the input voltage is stable for all ports. It's 5.15 15 volts and all the voltage loss you see, and, uh, and in turn wattage loss, is because of a uh, voltage drop in the cables. Here's the 1 meter or 3 feet cable. 6 feet or 2 meters. And 3 meters or 10 feet, and that has the lowest voltage. We lost more than a 1 volt. And this is the total overview. Okay, and next up we have four cables of, from Anchor. Again, we're injecting the same amount of power. And let's see how these cables do. I put all the meters together to get a bit of an overview. So first up we have one feet, 30 centimeters, and it's at 4.62 volts. And then we have three feet or one meter it's about the same voltage then we have six feet or two meters it's dropped it off a little bit and last off we have 10 feet or three meters which dropped quite a bit but less so than the my geek cable so in theory uh, you could say these cables are a bit better but that's not what this video is about Okay, let me show you that these are actually all different cables. So that's the 30 centimeter, 1 meter, and 2 meters, and in the back it's 3 meters. And they're all connected, and input voltage is about the same for all of them, but it's stable and above 5 volts. Well, okay. That's, that's about it. So, does cable length matter? What do you think? So, after these tests with these different cables, is cable length important? Well, I guess the answer is yes and no. Um, yes, cable length will influence charging speed directly. Um, and this is because of one phenomena, and the phenomena is called voltage drop. That means that the further the voltage has to travel, uh, the more copper is needed to keep the same voltage, and otherwise the voltage is lost because of inefficiency. Um, 
and so a, a, a shorter cable like this one this one's really short will charge faster than a really long one like this but does it really matter i mean looking at what we just measured uh it's either going to be like injecting 5.1 and getting um 4.4 out of it or getting 3.9 to 4 volt out of it and um multiplying that by amperage let's say two we're looking at 8.8 .8 or about 8 watt and well that's not that big of a difference so yes there is a difference is it important not that much but i remind you these are good cables they have um, a good gouge of uh, wire in them i believe 20 and um not all cables are made this well and there will be a separate video about that testing really cheap dirt ass cheap cables and testing uh, decent cables and comparing between aki and anchor and transmart and crapola from aliexpress and we'll see what kind of difference that makes so for now cable length yeah it matters but if you get a good cable Basically get the length you want and don't worry about it. See you later.